If you ever come to SoCal, the one place you only want to come to in everyone Hollywood is for a hat. Otherwise, from that Hollywood Boulevard, not much to happen. In my opinion, living living here for all my life. Well, let's go here. What's living for all my life is watching Zan making out here to locals. Finally done with the uh, university here and thinking of breaking the semester. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Zan Cookie Slayer, man, he is a uh, he is a force to be reckoned with. I had to play him in bracket. And boy, there were some times where like the pressure that he was putting on me in shield was so unreal that I actually just busted out laughing in the middle of the set because I was like, bro, like what what do I do about this? And I asked him afterwards and he said, no, there's nothing you can do about it. You just got to wait until you get hit. And yeah. I was like, that's fantastic, man. <laughs> Take the hit and see what you can do right after, right? Like, you know what they say, right? You have Sometimes you have a game plan until you get hit. And then from there, you got to take it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, great DI there by Cookie Slayer. If you get hit by that PK fire uh, while you are in the air, it is best to DI up and away, so that way that you can get out of it the, the most at the most optimal oh, efficiency. That would have been such a good punish for them to go ahead and move in, especially with the boomerang. The boomerang does give you opportunities on the returning hit. Has a little bit of hit stun that allows you to go in for a combo. Mm -hmm. Or a confirm as well. Zan looking for that easy to get the grab and especially uh -oh. the ledge. Would have been great to have PSI guy off the stage. Yeah, no, Psy guy man, he's a uh, he's looking really strong, especially at the ledge. You know, he's been seeing a lot of uh, a lot of telegraph stuff out of Zan here at the ledge. Cookie Slayer's got to find a way to get around it. I feel like this is a this is a match. Of course, I'm biased because I I watch Austin play, and he is a lot of people consider him to be the best so, Ness in the world. Somebody tell that man to start traveling. Yeah, well, you know, please. When, once he once he once he gets the ability to, man. But like, I I am I'm, I'm biased in saying this, but I'm pretty sure that this is a pretty good matchup for Ness. Like, yeah. despite the fact that you think well, projectiles look pretty good against him, but that's not how Cookie Slayer is building up a lot of the stocks, a lot of the percent. You know, it's it's mostly trying to play a Marshall, and Ness has just so many big disjoints in this game now. Oh, and of course, speaking of one of those disjoints, having that yo-yo poke out the stage and then just hit you from it without low recovery, it's really powerful. It is such a brutal edge, oh. dude. It's unfair. I like the fact that Zan was set up for an aerial there, but I mean, you got such a powerful anti here, and the way it was for PSI guy just only worked in his favor. Dude, I mean, Ness has a million anti airs. I mean, not only just the amount of aerials that he has to do that for him, Nair and up air especially, but he's got the quick up tilt, the just as quick up smash, or at least almost just as quick. That move is nuts. Yeah. It hangs up from the ledge too as well, just like the down smash. Uh, something to behold. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it from PSI guy right, trying to land. Saw the cross up immediately from the PK fire, trying to go for a back air. Would have been great to have Zan also off the stage. Here's the back throw. Zan with a little bit of corner here. Can you get the edge guard here? And sets up the whiff punish there with the forward tilt. Mm -hmm. Safe passage for that. Well, that's one of the big things that you want to do okay. against Ness is wait for the whiff punishes because he does have a whole lot of safe aerials, a lot of safe moves, but eventually he will whiff something that you can punish. It's just a matter of finding that opportunity. Oh, there nice. we go. Finally using that tether to get around the yo-yo, and now Cookie Slayer almost had a big setup for a combo. Yeah, and one of those things you want to have against... Ness in general is that when you see that PK Thunder from above the stage, you want to have a consistent hitbox, like for example, Link or Young Link down there, where you're able to bypass that one, so you don't mm -hmm. get hit by like a thousand PK Thunders. Yeah, no, I want to. I'm, I'm afraid to bring up anything, you know, this close to the to the end of the game, and there it is, right there, Psy guy finding that aggressive fade in because Cookie Slayer has been relying a lot on that down air to get around the anti -air. So what do you do? You just go off to the side and hit him. And that's actually one of the things you want to do with that PK Thunder mm -hmm. if you want to counterplay that down air is you'll see uh, Nesses like Austin, like Gak, like Foe, what they do with that PK Thunder and why they're so much better at juggling people than you are when you try to pick up Ness. Uh, not you specifically, but just anybody. Oh, I know, I know, I know. like I've tried it before myself. This is not my character, don't worry. <laughs> but, the thing, but the thing that happens is that you know these top Ness players, when they're juggling with that PK Thunder, a lot of the times you'll see them try to follow the opponent's drift and catch them later where they're going to be. They're going to try to catch where they're going to end up when that hitbox is gone or yeah. after they try to use an air dodge rather than going straight for them with the PK Thunder and leaving themselves vulnerable because if you do that with the PK Thunder, you also have the opportunity to terminate it and save yourself. Yeah, that's really good too, especially to have tools like that. I believe some people call it the Gatling gun technique. Don't aim, don't follow them, aim where they're going to be instead. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Neil and Zan looking to be here and finally back in the money with PSI guy with one point in the board so far. You can see what I'm talking about, man. Every time he does those backers on shield, I can't do anything but laugh. I'm like, look at this ridiculousness. Yeah. He was so used to this because back in Smash 4, he was one of the best team leads out there. Mm -hmm. And he was so used to going for Z-drop uh, bomb, bomb Z-drop uh, combos. Oh, great SDI. Goes for the Eric. PSI guy off the stage here. Great. Trying to confirm off the bomb, but Zan Ooh. missed the forward air. Yeah, and, and immediate air dodge in there. Psy guy knows that if he is able to fall out of that combo, the best thing he can do is get behind the young Link and make him react to your DI, react to your escape options, rather than just give him what he wants. Mm -hmm. 
good. Like I said, like you said earlier, right? One of those aerial drifts that Ness has, able to just caught it, especially from the ledge. That with punish with that forward tilt, gonna pay dividends. Mm. I don't know if Saiga is trying to absorb the fire arrows. I'm pretty sure they still count as a physical projectile. Yeah, and you won't do, be able do. to absorb them. So the bomb is the one thing I think he's looking to get. Okay. Because, yeah, Fire Arrows and Boomerang you cannot absorb, but mm. the bomb is from both links. Actually, all three links. I almost forget two links exist. Uh, can actually be absorbed from this. Wow, he went Lucas. so deep. And now he Take is brave to challenge that, but that is why you have that sword is so that you can challenge the PK Thunder too. Yeah, then that disjoint. And even Zen sends out the bomb downward to avoid getting hit by the up smash. Ooh. Bouncing him around with that, uh, with that Boomerang. Okay. Oh, it's tapped at the ledge, but Young Link has got a pretty dang good recovery. Yeah. Compared to Lynx, his recovery is actually a lot higher, but less, uh, but relatively the strength strength. Just a little bit lower. No, no, lower strength for sure. Lynx, <laughs> Lynx up, he hits like a truck, dude. Oh, it's actually Lynx's uh, fastest grounded move. Uh, frame 7 mm -hmm. for Lynx. Oh, pressure on the shield. All right, Zan looking for that spacing here immediately. That's kind of one of those things you want to do with both Lynx, is look for a little bit of spacing and then bring your opponent in towards that. Mm -hmm. Kind of close the gap together, especially with Boomerang and play. And when since he got so much speed with the young one, you can see that now that Cookie Slayer is just playing really hard to hit, playing some really solid defense. Psy Guy is struggling now that, you know, these can opener game plans that he's been doing to try to set up with these big meaty aerials just isn't quite working the same way. But oh. anti-air right there with that up smash, plenty enough. I think, it's a, I think it's just a real shame for Psy Guy that he's been uh, playing a game plan that relies a lot on being in the air and not playing a very grounded Ness. And of course, Young Link will punish you oh, heartily no. for being aerial, but... Yeah, went and too low on that recovery, and I don't blame him. I don't blame Psy Guy for trying to go so deep off stage. Yeah, and not only that, for Psy Guy, like, he went off stage, but the problem was, like, when the PS2 just kind of caught the PK Thunder right there at the ledge. Yeah, I mean, there are... <laughs> There's just, there's just so much availability to you, right? I mean, especially you do want to try to to challenge Young Link's recovery, especially if you're down and you need to find your way to get back in the game. That's that's your option right there, to try to go for a downer or something off stage and maybe make a comeback. But right now, back at it here in Game 3. Is this best of five here at Hat in uh, Winter uh, Semis? Winter Semis, yes. So okay. Winter Semis and Loser Semis and Up are all best of fives. Okay, gotcha. I believe you guys only do, like, uh, what is it? Grand, Basic. Grands, losers, and then winners. Grand, winners, winners, losers, and grand finals out, out yeah. in Texas. Y'all, uh, you know, y'all got a little bit more time. Out it's here, okay, bro. I love Texas for the fact that you guys ran three stock formats back in Smash Four. I don't. <laughs> I, I liked it. I liked. It. I was like, yo, man, anything can kill you in Smash Four. You didn't. You didn't have to experience, you know, 20, 20, 27, 30 minute sets in Smash Four. Ah, uh, fair enough. I'll fair just, enough. I'll just, I'll just put that out there, man. There, there, and there are long sets in Ultimate too. I mean, this game can sometimes take just as long, but. You know, it's it's up to it's up to what you find. This is this shiny new thing. And I've had I've had our streamer in the JMX co-founder of 2GG. He's been like, he sat here for like 15 games before. Yeah. At, at one in the morning, it was not fun. Ooh, oh, that, that is roll. not fun. What you got to do right there in that situation, you just got to get up attack. You have full invincibility with every character until that hitbox comes out. Yeah. And he's charging that yo-yo, and he's right there in front of you. You can just get up and attack it. By using your getup attack, mm -hmm. I know that was kind of unnecessary verbiage, and, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and it's the, I think really the, the way the formal the formal terminology for it is edge attack. I think is the way Nintendo calls it. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh and my that's gosh. big. And Zan not gonna survive that one. Young Link is quite the young lad, man. A little, a little bit lightweight as well. Yo, Ness players is the same. I, I see that. I see that happen every week in DFW, and I come to I come to SoCal, and I can't I can't escape it. Double up air to PK Thunder on that setup. Once that double up air happens, your number one priority is to not get tagged by the tail of the PK Thunder as it comes out from Ness, because otherwise that is a textbook setup into the PK Thunder too, and that is why Cookie Slayer is down a stock. But that oh. is all that he's down right now, and not by a massive margin of percents either. He's down a stock, but he has a lot of the momentum and a lot of it in his favor as well. Goes for the forward head. That's not going to kill Ness just yet, man. Got a DI down and in. Air dodge. Not covered there by Koki Slayer. He committed to that arrow. Oh, and he doesn't want a DI off stage because he knows what Ness can do. Psy Guy is trying to show him exactly what Ness can do, but get up attack right there. Cookie Slayer just had to wait to react, and there will do your dishes. It'll do your taxes, man. That, that move is a character. <laughs> I feel like a lot of what happened to a lot of players is like they, they put the they, you know they bought a credit card under the character's name right like Austin followed with a credit card for Ness and then he got the rewards the war, the rewards program right mm -hmm. pay yeah. off 
They were like, thank you for being a, a loyal customer. You know, I assume with the tag like Psy Guy, he's probably been sticking with Ness like since forever. Oh man. Sometimes we even call him PS Psycho. He's one of the, one of the one of the best out there for sure. He's always <laughs> fun to watch. Great guy all around. He catches the roll in, but it great DI. I'm telling you, man, one of the great guys out there for sure. And he almost catches the roll, and he, but he doesn't catch. He catches the landing here with Zan with the bomb. I respect it because Zan might have gone for the bomb downward to throw it to make sure PSI guy is going to get hit by it or just hold shield and then allowing him to come back down on stage. Yeah, not only that, but, I mean, you don't want to intentionally put yourself in a situation where the Ness can set up for a yo-yo. If he whiffs that up air, he's got plenty of time to react to, to Zan dropping low with the young Link. He can say, all right, I'm going right back to the ledge. I'm going to start charging a down smash or an up smash, and then you're going to die. Yep. There's, a, there's no chance for you to come back from that. I mean, I'm, the one thing I'm really interested in uh, comparing Psy Guy to some other, some other high-level Ness players is just he uses a lot of up smash on stage. He really takes advantage of the fact that that move comes out hella quick. Oh, yeah. We do have another, we have like two other nest mains. One of our best nest mains is actually uh, Lumbre, mm -hmm. who was from the Inland Empire of SoCal. Very, very, yeah. uh, very, very famous. He was able to make it, uh, I believe, day two uh, time stop at the test. Major. Okay. So, yeah, that's respectable. And then also, I know uh, I know Ribs has been down here for a little while as well. Oh, yes. And Ribs is, Ribs is amazing. <laughs> I love that man. Right, Yo, this guy. boomerang. Man, he's putting it to overtime at this point. But, but he knows what he has to do now, right? It's that spacing, one of those things that Lynx excels as a, as a zoner as well. And he would have closed the gap together and just sandwich your opponent. Oh, no, the lip of PS2, but it was barely able to, for Zan to just survive. I don't I don't hold my breath when Young Link is off stage. He can normally make those back and catches that landing right there from Psy Guy, panicking because, you know, <laughs> Cookie Slayer has been doing such a good job of juggling him this entire time, particularly with that boomerang to catch those jumps. He's been out of that double jump so long that he just wanted to get back down onto the stage, feel mm -hmm. the sweet grips of Earth, but once he got that, it didn't take long for him to take to the absolute skies. Okay, PK Thunder. No, the bomb breaks him out. He had to. He was forced to drop it after the uh, second up air. All right, there we go. After that boomerang toss, jumps back and covers his own advance with fire arrows. Oh. And that's standard for Young Link. Yeah, and there's the auto shield blaster for Zan. Not going to be able to hit him just yet. Good parry. I like it. Sees the landing move chair. That's one of those things that PS like I likes to go for, especially with the side stall. Yeah, a lot of side stalls, and it just. Goes to show you just how much versatility that move has, of course. It, nice. oh, wow. It was really good for Zen to actually just bring him to across the entire stage, get a whiff punish against that side stall, and then get that stock as well. Now he's up three stocks against PSI guy. Oh. <laughs> Goes for, he's just standing on it. He has done four up Bs in a row. Hello? <laughs> what am I watching? Landing down air. Oh, that was and a that's, I think that was supposed to be a forward tilt because yeah. that happened to me the earlier when I was playing Psy Guy and he was like, eh, that was supposed to be a forward tilt. <laughs> There's wow. The up, Takes the roll in. Just yet. Yo. The, the bank shot into the nair? That was some of the cleanest item play I have seen I'm in not, this entire game. Zan, Zan should have been a basketball player because he knows to hit <laughs> nothing but the backboard. And then you score the three, dude. dude that was such a great play. Alley-oops, dude. Yeah, man. Just hit the backboard, man. You see a little square? Hit it. Get the points. And then carry on. I've never seen anything like that. That is amazing. And, that, and by the way, just the fact that that was three even games in a row. You know, very close, very close, very close. And then a three stock for Zan? And just out of nowhere. His, adapt his, his, his adaptability is really, really great. I mean, Zan is used to playing some of the finest players in SoCal. Able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with players like Mr. R. Oh, I think believe him, he beat him at Ultimate Nimbus, the summit, the Ultimate Summit Last Chance Qualifier. Mm -hmm. So Zan has been nothing but a player with a great resume all the way from Smash 4. All right, Cookie Slayer is out here slaying, that is for sure. And look at how well he's got he's got the nest in the corner, but he's not even staying close because he knows that with those Psy Magnet stalls after the double jumps, Ness has such a huge threat zone. So that's why you see, even though he's trapped at the ledge, Cookie Slayer, he's going to stay in center stage and he's going to be content to just throw a bunch of projectiles because that is the one thing you can do to safely beat that giant threat zone that you get from those Psy stalls. Yeah. And once again, right there, Nair. Then the PK fire detonating the boomerang and just covering a lot of advances. Yeah, it's really good for Zan to also start throwing the boomerang diagonally upward because it does cover um, PSI guys approach from the air as well. Going oh, for the triple snipe, dude. <laughs> He's looking like Call of Duty Black Ops sticks and stones, dude. Hit me with the explosive arrows, man. Just keep coming. 
I was never good at that. Man. I'm not gonna lie. It was so hard to be so accurate with a little arrow, but I mean, Zan immediately knows your accuracy is not my problem. I have it all, all in the bag. Oh yeah, no unlimited ammo, man. You don't have to worry about the one two. He's gonna keep it going. Nice. Understands the. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. His he character's drop back okay. is crazy. He Z drops it, catches it. He is just playing. <laughs> He's playing hacky sack, dude. Yeah, he, he knows he's got a six second timer with that bomb, so you have enough time to go ahead and, and push your opponent with it oh as well. Gosh. One thing to behold about all the link mains, though, is that if you blow up yourself with the bomb, you only get a second up beam out of jump. Mm -hmm. So be careful with that when you make the landing. Oh, and the hard dare there. I'm gonna take the stock, says, you know what, PSA guy, that up smash was not there in time. I'll make sure my down air is. Yeah, but right there, you know, off, off stage, connecting there. Once again, we see that once Psy Guy is able to get up close and get aggressive, that's where he's been putting a lot of his hurt on. But it's just the fact that Cookie Slayer has been building up, you know, 50, 70% at a time just with projectiles before Psy Guy gets a hit. Yeah, good whiff punish from Zan. Like I mentioned earlier, sometimes he just sacrifices the whole stage to get that one whiff punish, and he gets so much percent for it. Look at how he's put PS Psy Guy. Oh! The back foot almost gets the forward air. That would have been so big. Dude, keeping him trapped at ledge, like I said, man. Oh, he's a scary character. That was close. I was point blank boomerang. Would have confirmed to a fair at that point as well. Mm, interesting. Using that neutral air to set up off stage, not wanting to commit to something bigger like that up special. Now 138. My boy. Nice, good. Two frame Two with the down, frame. but not going to hit the up B. Mm. Well yeah. angled there, but. It's, it just takes that reactive playstyle. Young Link has got the frame data. Yeah. And it, and it just looks like the, the thing that's been falling apart for Psy Guy is that Cookie Slayer has started abusing it, and Psy Guy hasn't made the adjustment to really uh, respect it as much as he was earlier on the set. <laughs> he, was, he was really... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, but like I mentioned earlier, he keeps tossing the boomerang diagonally in the air because he knows if PSI doesn't be in the air, he might get hit by the boomerang, and the boomerang on the return is going to cover options. And in that spacing, all Zan had to do was go for the grab. He had the boomerang to cover him, and if, if anything... Yeah, I'm noticing that when Psy Guy uses these side stalls, he's doing them at a height where he'll get hit by the boomerang, and he could really, mm. if he increases that APM, right, if he gets faster with oh. it, he can approach low, but uh, going That's a little bit too is. low, and Cookie Slayer just going to put a little bit of extra oomph on the ending. Yep, I'm not going to lie. It, it all came down to like the fact that you said, right, he's using those side stalls a little bit overzealous, but Xana accounts for that, making sure that if he is going to go for that, he has the boomerang in play. He has so many things to cover the options. When it came down to the what, the final stock, Zan just knew if he's gonna, he has nowhere to go but low. Yeah. Shorty got low, low, low. And then a little low. bit too low. And then a little bit too low. And then he said, "All right, like this girl. I think this girl might be passed out. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a, 